This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Sandeepan Chakravarti. Here is an announcement. With the new Omicron variant of coronavirus causing concern, we appeal to our listeners to be vigilant and to get fully vaccinated and help others, including children between 15 and 18 years, to get vaccinated. Please continue to follow these three simple steps to stay safe. Wear a face mask, maintain dogas ki duri for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-239-78046 and 1075. For Meghalaya, the helpline numbers are 14410 and 1008 for emergency. And now the news in detail. The Election Commission yesterday announced that polls to 13 Rajya Sabha seats will be conducted in six states, Assam, Punjab, Himachal Pradesh, Kerala, Tripura and Nagaland. The notification in this regard will be issued on the 14th of this month and the polling will be held on the 31st of this month. In Assam, the by-election to Majuli Assembly constituency was held peacefully with around 65.15% of electors exercising their franchise yesterday. Assam Chief Electoral Officer Nitin Khare said that the polling was peaceful and there was no report of any error. The Majuri seat was earlier represented by former Chief Minister Salmananda Sodwal, who is now the Union Minister. Counting of votes will be held on the 10th of this month. Meanwhile, re-polling at seven polling stations of five assembly constituencies in Manipur is being conducted today. The five constituencies include Wangjing, Tentha, Okrul, Chingai, Karong and Tadubi. The polling in these assembly constituencies was held on Saturday, but due to damage of EVMs by miscreants on the polling day, re-polling is necessary in these seven polling stations. Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma yesterday informed the State Assembly that a meeting has been scheduled in New Delhi between the Chief Ministers of Meghalaya and Assam with Union Home Minister Amit Shah to discuss an agreement reached between the two states on finding solution to the long-pending interstate boundary dispute in six areas. The meeting will be held tomorrow in which the Memorandum of Understanding signed between the two states would be discussed. He said that once a solution is reached in the six areas, the other areas of dispute would be taken up. The Chief Minister also made a statement in the Assembly on the steps taken by both Meghalaya and Assam how to resolve the dispute in the six areas. In Assam, police have arrested wanted Maoist leader Arun Kumar Bhattacharya alias Kanchanda in Kachar district. Acting on a tip-off, the police teams conducted multiple raids at various places of Assam and Manipur. Along with Kanchanda, police have also arrested Akash Urnag, Elias Rahul, who is a member of the Assam State Organizing Committee of CPI Maoist. Our correspondent reports that Kanchanda was a member of the Central Committee and strategist of CPI Maoist. The outfit has been making attempts to spread the root of the organization in Assam and Northeast. In Nagaland, a total of 17,117 candidates will appear for the Higher Secondary School Living Certificate Examination 2022 being conducted by the Nagaland Board of School Education from today till the 31st of this month. There are 13,811 students in Arts, 1,157 in Commerce and 2,149 in Science Stream who will write their exams in 88 provisional centres. Meanwhile, the high school leaving certificate examination will begin from tomorrow with a total of 30,327 candidates. There are 135 provisional examination centers and four sub-centers. 1,391 candidates will also appear the HSLC compartmental examination in 35 examination centers. Due to COVID-19 pandemic, more additional examination centers have been created in the districts and subdivisions. Chief Minister Nephew Rio has extended his best wishes to all the students and inspired them to work hard, remain focused, confident and give their best. The Chief Minister also wished them good health and hoped that they will excel in their exams. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio Shalong. Have a nice day.